Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and it's Saturday, and you know what time it is? You know what show it is? You know what time it is, dog? It's time for a shot! Not just a shot, it's time for Sasha Saturday! That's right! Look what we're featuring, second episode ever. We got Captain Morgan Long Island Iced Tea, and as you can see, this bottle is used. It is used, yes. You got a good cap shot, and yeah, we're, we're feeling very, very, uh, what do you call it? Brave tonight. We're feeling like a Long Island iced tea. That's what we're feeling. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what you got. So, and you can see it does have a little bit of ice to it. Oh, it's a been little in the frost. Freezer. It's been in the freezer. Now, a little history on this. Uh, we were in the wine and spirit shop, and I just happened to walk by the Captain Morgan section, and I happened to see Long Island iced tea. The only other time I've ever had a Long Island iced tea was at my, I'll try to say, my father-in-law's daughter's wedding, who had an open bar, by the way, which is awesome, because I was able to try all different kinds of drinks. And I remember my wife handing me a drink when I'm already half in the bag. She says, here, drink this. And I say, what is it? She goes, it's a Long Island iced tea. It tastes exactly like an iced tea. That's when you know it's a good, because... Look how much alcohol is in that shit. I was going to say, I was looking for that. So, 17% alcohol, 34 proof. But look, at the, but look at the different kinds underneath, it should say. So it says rum, whiskey, gin, vodka, triple sig liquor with natural flavors and caramel color. So, interesting. Hold on, where's my book at? Let's look up Long Island iced tea and see what all they put in here. Because just like that, yeah, they put, there's no iced tea in it, let's say that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and smell it while you're reading Go it. ahead, and I'll look it up and see what actually goes into a Long Island iced tea. Use two hands! Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Long Island iced tea. Whoa. It smells good. <laughs> yeah. So, a Long Island iced tea has vodka, gin, rum, tequila, triple sec, sour mix, blah, blah, blah. Did you say triple sack? Triple sack. <laughs> And I love this. You top it with a splash of cola. So there's... You mean like Coke or RC Cola or yeah. something? So there is no, I repeat, no tea anywhere in this shit. But it tastes like tea. So shall we pour it? Of course we'll pour them. We got our little sifter glasses here. You can pour as much as little as you like. We have the anti-spill... A uh, nozzle, which goes in very, very easily. There you go. Have yourself a nice little glass. You can go That's ahead. about a double. You can go ahead and fill me up about the same. There All right, go. thank you. Close it, because we're not going to drink the whole thing. Mm. Yeah, we, we're not going to be able to finish our bench done if we drink this whole thing. You smell this, dog? It smells like Lipton. Yes. Yeah, oh, you know you, you know what it smells like? A brisk. Yes, that's Yeah, like the better. brisk you get at Sheets. I was so happy when I saw this, but does it actually taste like it? Well, I know what it tastes like, but what about you? Cheers, fuckface! Cheers, bitches. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it goes down rather smooth. And guess what? Who tastes any fucking alcohol, do you? We, well, you know, we had a beer that came close to this, as far as content goes. Yeah. But... 17% content, this says. You don't taste fucking anything. That was easily a beer. You definitely will drink... You'll, you'll sip this. Ah. It's a five. <laughs> you're, like, it. you're like, ah, ah. And you know what? Like Normally when you take a shot, you feel a burn going down you. You don't even feel it here. I will get in trouble with this during the summer. So if you're not a non-liquor person but want to get fucked up, this is it. Because it tastes just like an iced tea. And again, uh -huh. this is something you do not want around your children. Because if they take a sip of it, they're going to think it's regular tea. And then they're going to get screwed up, and you're going to feel bad about it. Or you'll go to prison for it. <laughs> that too. I already rated it. I said five. Five? I'm going five, too. This is my new shit. Already pre-mixed for you. You don't have to add a single and thing. And pre-chilled for the episode. 
you, so you don't have to add a single thing. You just throw it in your freezer, or if you don't have time to do that, you bring it to your warm, throw some rocks in a glass, pour it right over there, and you're good to go. Yeah, this shit is so hard you need two hands. <laughs> That's what she said. <sighs> God, I love this shit. This is my new poison. I, I love it. I'm definitely getting another bottle of it. Yeah, it looks like you've been enjoying it. <laughs> well, the first night we had it was at our Dungeons and Dragons night. And I was the first one to try it. And, of course, I had to pass the glass around the table to six other people. And sure enough, every single one of them said, You guys have any extra glasses? So, mm. we shared it. I can tell. Uh, but I'm, I'm thankful that you saved enough for us to do this episode. Absolutely. First time we had Captain Morgan, produced by Captain Morgan Rum Company, Norwalk, Connecticut. Thank you, Captain Morgan. You're awesome. So, yeah. So, no telling when we'll do another side shot Saturday, but... No, no, this is just a very sporadic... It's kind of like a random thing. Yeah. If we find good liquor, we'll do it. So, next week it might be a snack... We might be back to snacking with uh, Side Shot Saturday. Yeah, why not? But, yeah, we'll see you next time.